Hey, what's happening, St. Vincent? Back here again with another video. Today, I want to talk to you about the sponge gourd or loofah gourd, Vietnamese gourd, Egyptian cucumber, and it's an evergreen vine. Okay, it um, goes and flowers throughout the entire year. It's in the cucurbitaceae family, the cucumber family. You notice here this trail and vine right and as you can see it's all the way down here right it was introduced to Japan in 1890 then from there to Asia also can be found in the tropics and subtropics the uh, Americas also in the West Indies can be found in India Africa cultivated quite a, a lot in in India in India's Ayurvedic medical system it's the seeds and the leaves are used to cleanse the blood purify the blood and it's also used to aid in treating swollen right and skin Diseases also as an antelmintic that means it that it expels intestinal worms and it also is used in a lot of dishes, a lot of cuisines in many places. And if I zoom in here, what you're seeing there is actually one of the fruits. It's already matured and old, and they're usually very fibrous. The old ones usually very fibrous in africa the entire fruit is used to prevent constipation so as they get older they get fibrous they get bitter and brown okay they're usually picked when they're young and tender they usually cut off the vine and um they can break easily so you have to cut it with a scissor or something sharp off the vine so you don't damage the the fruit, its scientific name is Lufa aegyptica because it was found to be cultivated in Egypt. So it was found to be cultivated in Egypt by the European um, botanists. They give it the name Egyptica or as they would call it here, uh, Egyptian cucumber. And also, the dried loofer or dish rag gourd which they use um, as sponges to clean dishes and to bathe with even to exfoliate the skin here you see the dry ones on the tree there see that they're often sold in markets in um in asia so um could be used um, domestically okay to wash dishes scrub pots exfoliate the skin to bathe with it's quite a lot on the tree there All right you see them hanging down there All right and um sponge gourd contains a lot of nutrients iron riboflacin niacin it's um, very fibrous. I can see why it can it will help in constipation, you know, um, freeing the bowels. Okay. Also has manganese. Also has potassium, vitamin B6. Okay. Has vitamin B9, vitamin B12, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin C. Okay. Let me see if I can get up here and I'm um, show you up close the fruits. Okay. This is someone's land, and I hope I don't get in trouble. Hopefully I don't get arrested. All right for trespassing. Yep. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for trespassing. So. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Oh. There is one of the sponges see it's very it's very old mature here's another one it's 
very old and mature old and mature also so they can grow up to 60 70 meters but they're off like I said they're picked when they're young and tender uh, 12 centimeters these ones are very old especially this one just show you how the inside goes show you how the how the inside looks so that's how, that's how the inside looks okay it's very fibrous okay it's very bitter and bitter herbs you know anything that's bitter is good for the digestive system as a can be used as a laxative prime is a digestive system helps you to secrete secrete bile improves the appetite the bitter herbs are so important so this is it oh, this okay the seeds oh, I see the seeds there the seeds coming out there yeah. so when that is dried I can use be used to make sponge dish rag gourd is a dish rag right unfortunately um, I don't see any young and tender one green ones there nope uh, all right here we have a dry one Here we have a dry one. So this one, as it's so dry, can can be used to scrub dishes, scrub pots, and bait exfoliate the skin. Very fibrous, as you can see, tough. Okay. So that's it for the dish rag gourd. All right, now let me get out of here before I get arrested. Thanks again for watching.